How do you engage with people who have not yet come to the position where they, they feel they need a word of either challenge or life or something different, an alternative uh, perspective? And I like what uh, Barbara Brown in her new book, Barbara Brown Taylor in her new, in her new book has talked about um, the, the gifting, as it were, of darkness and of the cloud of unknowing, speaking of the fact that we have a, a preference, a predilection for the light. And there's lots of biblical stories about that and references about the light, but there are also those about, about darkness. And I think uh, here I want to I address something sensitively as well, because I think that sometimes what has happened within our theology in history and even in the churches today, that association, that sort of binary uh, notion of light equals good and dark equals bad has migrated into racial divisions. And so as a person of African descent, I appreciate uh, a sensitive word, a sensitive understanding of the beauty of darkness, as it were, and the fact that God dwells in the darkness, the cloud that encircled uh, uh, Moses was the darkness. When you think about it, think of creation. God created light, which means out of darkness, God initiated the very world in which we have. So the power and the gifting of darkness, when you think of it, we begin our lives in the darkness of the womb. We cannot behold the beauty and spectacle of the stars except for darkness. If there was not darkness, we wouldn't survive as human beings because we need it to sleep. Even uh, nations that have uh, light, you know, so many hours in the day, they have to endarken the room so they can sleep. So privileging the gifting of darkness is something I appreciate. And sometimes people don't uh, um, appreciate or relish being challenged about some very um, firm and enduring understandings of scripture where you know people who walk in darkness have seen the great light so always privileging light and it's a way of inviting a different way of seeing um, our vulnerability to step into the darkness means one loses one's control one surrenders control you need to enter with mercy you need to crawl on your hands and knees as it were and you are at the mercy of God and it is there that God will do work with you, will help to point out into your life what you have been avoiding, but necessarily and desperately need to address. So I appreciate the reminder that sometimes as preachers we need to be bold to invite people to walk in the darkness, to ask God for more darkness, as it were, because it is the place that, in which we are accompanied in such a vulnerable state that we are more susceptible and receptive to the gifting of God and the blessing of God.